Hello everyone, welcome to the itvideos.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use query string to pass values to your controller. So here I am in my store controller and I've got two methods at the moment. So I'm going to just create one more to let's say return the flower ID based on the to return the flower name based on the flower ID that is passed through the query string. So I'm going to uh, write a small method, let's say get flower name and we're going to pass the flower ID and I'm going to do a switch actually uh, so I'm going to put a play variable flower actually uh, let me write this one down I have written this whole in a notepad so that you don't have to see me write this whole thing so let me just copy that from here and uh, put this one here and there you go so when the user passes an id let's say one it returns this flower name if, it, if the user passes two it will return this and if the value is not found it will just default to rows so with this method added uh, let's build this build is succeeded now let's run it all right now let's go to that method that controller this is our name slash actually i'm just going to pass the flower id to it so it's a curious string So if it is all looking good, it should return me the jasmine name of the flower. Let's hit enter and see. Alright. So the query string has been passed and uh, the value has been passed by the query string and it's returning the name of the flower. So if I enter a value that is not there, it will return the default value which is the row. So this is how we pass the uh, values to the query string in controller so that was a quick short video about passing values via the query string in mbc i hope you like this video